what is the best way to tease your book? So if you have written a novel and you have a buy link, now is the time to start teasing your book. If you have something that people can buy, you should be talking about your book. So there's a lot of different ways that you can be marketing your stories. And the easiest way is to market on TikTok. Now, you want to make sure that you are marketing on all the social platforms in a free organic capacity. Yes, you can pay for ads and you should be. You should be paying for ads on places like TikTok and Instagram and Facebook and YouTube. And you can pay for them on places like BookBub and all of those things. Those are going to help you for sure. But I don't want you to have to spend a ton of money on this. I want you to be leveraging organic content. So you know I 7 x my book sales in a single month just from creating TikTok videos. And there's lots of ways that you can be doing this. So you can jump on and you can have a conversation. You can hold up your book cover and you can talk about your book. You can show the behind the scenes. You can do all sorts of things. Another really great way to get attention is to actually talk about the publishing industry if you are established. I'm talking you have multiple books out and you've proven track record of being successful in this industry. Please don't do this if you only have one or two books out. But you can then talk about the writing industry and answer questions because most people want to be authors and they don't actually care about your book. They care about how they're going to be successful in this industry. So if you're answering questions and you're helping them to grow, eventually they'll come around to looking at your book. Now with that in mind, you also want to be showing off your book. So you're going to pay attention to things like book talk and bookstagram and see what's popular. Take pretty photos of your books and put them on bookstagram. Take videos and put them on book talk and bookstagram. You're going to be talking about what's inside of your book right now. One thing that is popular is flipping your book open and seeing the pages flip across the page and you kind of just put lines from your book. You can talk about your book. You can show things off. There are POVs or point of views where you can jump on a TikTok and you can spin this little sob story about, oh, well, I... I was with this guy and then I discovered that my baby's doctor is the guy that I was with and like all the things and you can spin the sob story and then be like to find out what happens read the book that was really popular last year. So pay attention to what's going on and talk about your book because if nobody knows about your book, they're not going to buy your book. So you have to be able to, to give me those taglines. So let's just say I was going to be talking about virtually Sleeping Beauty. This is my Sleeping Beauty retelling where she's trapped in a virtual reality video game and can't wake up in the real world. You have to know your taglines. You have to know what your book's about. So if you cannot tell me in one to two sentences what your story is about, you need to work on your taglines. And then you need to be able to deliver them word for word every single time. So write those things down and memorize them. I have a book that is a Goldilocks retelling. And I say Goldilocks was never naive. She was sent on a mission and Dove Bear is her new target. And now that she's met them and realizes they're not as evil as her cousin led her to believe she has to play both sides, which could ultimately get them all burned. Now, I have the shortened version of that. I just expanded on that a little bit, but I have to tell you what that story's about. And that has that little hook that's going to bring you into it. So you want to make sure that you have that hook for your book that you can tell me about. You should be able to, in one to two sentences, tell me what your book is about and hook me in. This is the tagline. It's the little thing that might go on the front of your book cover. It's the little thing that would go on the movie poster or the uh, poster for the TV show if your book ever got translated into an adaptation. Make sure you know what your book's about and deliver it to me quickly. And then of course you can jump on trends and things like that and market your book as well without being super direct about it. Now I've got lots of videos on how to market your book, how to tease your book over on youtube.com slash Robinson books. So that's my author platform on YouTube. It is different than the social media marketing education. So you can go over to youtube.com slash Robinson for social media and marketing help in general. And then youtube.com slash Robinson books. So just add on books um, to the end of that to get author specific things and publishing specific things that you should be uh, doing as well.